Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome back to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to show you how you can bulk download attachments from your tasks and projects in Asana using Bridge24. Now, the reason you might want to do this is if you've uploaded a lot of attachments into Asana, and now you want to download them to keep them as a backup. You want to store a local backup of all of those important documents. If you, if you want to do that natively in Asana, you would literally have to click through each task one by one and download the attachments. So it can be a very time consuming, painful exercise. Fortunately, it's very quick and easy using Bridge24. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like to learn more about Bridge24 or my Asana consulting options, I will include details in the description below. Now, I have already made a video on how to get started with Bridge24, so I'll link that up here. But just to give you a very short summary of what this tool is, is I would describe it as a, a reporting tool that gives you a lot more power and flexibility compared to Asana's own native reporting. So for example, here in my account, I can click on any one of my projects that I have synced over from Asana. And when I want to create reports and charts, I have a lot, of, uh, a lot more customization options and um, kind of control over how I display my data. I find that with Asana's native reporting, while very good, it can be a bit limiting if I want to present data in a certain way. So the reporting in Bridge24, really useful. It does also give you the option to export data from your account. And again, you have a lot more control over how that happens. So in Asana, uh, if you do an export, it's just gonna give you a CSV with every single bit of metadata about a task. With Bridge24, I can customize my export. I can choose what columns um, and uh, a bit of attributes, attributes of my tasks I want to include in my export. And then I can either download this as a CSV or as a printable PDF as well. So it does make getting data out of your account a lot easier. And again, you just have a lot more control over how that's done. Now, when I'm ready to export attachments from my account, I can do that by either going into one of my projects or I could do a search and search more broadly across my account. For this example, I'm just gonna export a list of any attachment uploaded to my client's project. And so here are the tasks in my account. I'm actually using a filter up here to filter uh, to look for any task that contains attachments. So I've used the attachments is not empty criteria because obviously I don't want to, this view to show me tasks that don't have attachments. And I could export everything, but just for the purpose of this demo to not make the export too big, I've just said, show me tasks that were completed after October. So the last sort of six months or so. So I filtered my, um, my tasks here and I'm making sure to look at all tasks, not just incomplete up here. If you're not seeing this attachments column, you can customize your columns here. So I've included the uh, attachments column there. And so I can actually see these. I can click on each of these one by one. And I could even click on and download the individual attachments for just one specific or a couple of specific tasks if I want to. But I want to do a bulk download. So to do that, I'm gonna click on my the export option up here and I'm gonna export attachments. And so this is gonna bring up a, a list of all of the attachments found in the project. Now, what I can do actually before I export the actual attachments is I can export an, a list of the uh, list of attachments and the metadata. So if I want, I can customize these columns and I can add things like the source, um, zip number, start, end dates, that type of thing. So if I want to include specific information in my export, I can, I can customize those columns and then click export. I'll actually show you an example of that once it's done. Before I actually do my export, I'm gonna to go to the options tab here. And what I really like about Bridge24 is that it lets you customize how the export is executed. So it's gonna give me a zip file, but I can then sub organize my attachments by project or by task if I want to, or even both. So in my case, because my clients are tasks, I'm gonna say, yeah, give me a zip file for each or a folder for each task. 
I can choose, do I want to limit the size of each zip file? So if I only want the zip to be a maximum of 100 megabytes, I could do that, in which case Bridge24 may result in multiple uh, zip files if the, if the files are too big. I can choose to ignore uh, files that are particularly large if I want. Maybe I don't need really large files. I can ignore those. And I'm going to enable compression as well. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and start my export. Bridge24 is going to run down this list. It's going to grab all the files from Asana and even my Google Drive as well. So here's a summary of my export. It's downloaded seven files. Three of them failed, so we can have a look at those. And I'm just going to download my log file as well. So here's an example of that log file. I can see key metadata about my files, things like the attachment name, uh, where it's stored, when it was uploaded, who uploaded it. So just some really useful data that may be useful for my records. Now, if I want to dig into these failed uh, attachments, what I can do here is go to the failed tabs and I can look at why they failed. So file not supported. Uh, obviously, there's some kind of uh, file type error. These are actually Google Docs. Uh, a, a Google Word doc, so they actually can't be downloaded. So I can click on these one by one. If I click on the open link here, I can open this file. I can manually download that if I need to. I can see a list of my successful ones as well, so they are all good. So here's what the finished export looks like. I've got my log file with all my attachment metadata. And if I unzip this file, here are all of my attachments sub-organized by task. So here's one of my tasks. There's an image in there. I've got a uh, pages document, some other attachments and things. And so this is what I really like about Bridge24 is that it's not just giving me one big list of unorganized files. It's actually giving me them in a really structured way so I can put this on a hard drive. I can keep that backup stored in a really neat and tidy way. So that is a little look at Bridge24. Like I said, I think this solves a real problem with Asana. If you do want to take a backup of all those attachments and you don't want to go through one by one, I think Bridge24 is a great option. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me any comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video.